Hey, what's going on? Daniel Betancourt here with Team Betancourt of EXP Realty. And today I just wanted to go over how to schedule a showing uh, when you when you have to schedule a showing for a customer. So for a lot of agents that are just starting out, um, they've never requested a showing before. So I want to go over that, how to do that using Stellar MLS. Stellar MLS is the MLS that uh, I use in my area, Central Florida. Um, it covers a huge section of Florida. Um, all the way south of uh, Punta Gorda, Florida, up to Volusia County. Um, so I am here in the Orlando region, and I'm going to be showing you how to schedule a showing. But before I do that, um, as a new agent, if you're learning how to schedule a showing, there are a couple things that you should know. Uh, you need access to the MLS. And uh, to get access to the MLS, you need to be a member of the Realtor Association. So those are two uh, things that you need first. And uh, once you have those, you will learn some skills on the MLS. But um, after you have access to the MLS, when you go to show a home, a lot of the homes, I would say 75% of the homes that are available to be shown out there, uh, use an electronic lockbox. So they are those blue lockboxes made by Supra. They say iBox on the side. And uh, as realtors, we, uh, in order to access those blue lockboxes, we need to subscribe to the service. So we have to get an account with Supra and it costs about $16 per month. So it's really important before you start showing homes, you want to have that subscription of $16 a month. So that way you can open these lock boxes using Bluetooth right from your cell phone. It's an app and uh, the app is easy to use. In fact, I can show it to you um, here while I'm, while I'm talking on this topic. So the uh, app is called Supra Eki and it's, uh, it's a blue box with a white lock box on it. And uh, so when you open it up, this is what it looks like. And from here, whenever you're scheduling a visit, you just uh, walk up to the house and you click on this obtain key button here at the bottom, obtain key. And that will get you, you once you click on that button, it's going to ask you for your unique code, which you can't see here yet. Uh, just looks white on your screen, but it's asking for a code. You punch in your four digit pin number and then you push up on the lockbox on the bottom of the lockbox and it activates, they'll connect by Bluetooth and uh, it will open up and give you the key. So uh, before you start requesting showings, just know that you should have that uh, electronic lockbox access because what will happen is if you request a showing on a home that has an electronic lockbox and you don't have access, you're gonna have to try to figure out how to do it. So you'll either be calling agents in your office uh, to help you out with that, or you'll call the listing agent to help you out with that. And a lot of times listing agents don't really appreciate, uh, you know, having to go out to the listing to open the door for another realtor because this is a $16 a month subscription and it's a necessary tool for doing this job of selling real estate. So uh, if you're a handyman, you need a hammer. And if you're a real estate agent, you need a uh, access to the electronic lockbox, among other things. You also need the MLS. And uh, to be a Realtor, you have to be a member of the Realtor Association. So on with the show. All right. So here we are. I am into Stellar MLS. And the way you get to Stellar MLS is StellarMLSMatrix.com. Uh, so that takes you to Stellar MLS. And I've made other videos on how to search for homes, but uh, you would click on hover over search. I use the quick search feature. You can click on quick search and that brings you to this screen where you can search for homes. And um, I am going to click on, I'm just going to do a normal search. So I'm looking for homes that are 200,000 to 300,000. And I'm looking in the zip code of 32801, which is downtown Orlando. And I'm so right now I have 15 matches that match that criteria. So um, I'm just going to drill it down a little bit more. I want homes with four bedrooms. 
All right, zero matches. That drilled it down too much. All right, I want homes with three bedrooms. Zero matches. Wow, two bedrooms. All right, there's four matches of homes with two bedrooms, and I want homes with two bathrooms too. All right, there are lots of those. What about three bathrooms? That'll be crazy. Zero. All right, let's go with two. Let's just say two. Okay, two bathrooms. There's four matches. I'm going to click on results. All right, I have these four options. These are four homes, and we're going to click on the first one. Okay, I am checking this one out. 151 East Washington Street, downtown Orlando, unit 201. I looked through the listing. Looks like it's going to be a great match for my customer. I've emailed it to my customer. They love it. They want to see it on Tuesday at 3 o'clock. So the next step from here is uh, you have this home. You want to click on this icon right here. It says schedule a showing when you hover over it. This is the showing time icon. So you can click on that. When you click on that, it's going to show you uh, the showing instructions. So um, it's giving you the address here. It gives you a place where you can send a message to the listing agent if you need to do that. And it has all of your information on here. And it's asking you from this point, do you want to uh, schedule this showing? So you click on schedule a single showing. And I don't want to do that because, um, well, I can do it right now. So if I click on this, it's, uh, it's sending me information. It's saying that the seller or the tenant has to let me in. And it gives me instructions for doing that. Um, but other times, some listing agents, they have an app where they have it set up so you can request a specific appointment. So let's say I want to show this other one here. This is 530 East Central Boulevard. You click on the showing time button. And again, you confirm that this information of yours is correct. And you can click on schedule a single showing. And this one also gives you information. So what I'm really looking for is how I set up most of mine where you have to schedule a time, a specific time. So that's how you get the instructions to show a home like I've done on the last two. Um, it's giving you the instructions of what to do. Email so-and-so, call or text so-and-so, and you can just text that person and say, you know, this is John Smith from eXp Realty, and I'd, I have a customer that would like to see your listing on 123 Main Street tomorrow at 2 p.m. Would that be okay? And you send that off, and uh, they should respond, or you can call them. But make sure when you request a showing by text or email that you specify which listing, because in your mind, as a new agent, you might be thinking this listing agent is going to know which home you're talking about. But if it's a listing agent with 10 listings and you say, I'd like to show your listing tomorrow at 2 p.m., they won't know which one you're talking about. All right, so I'm going to go to the next one to see if they've set it up the way I try to set up all of mine. Uh, this one, all right, 911 North Orange Avenue. Click on the showing button here. I'm confirming all of my information. Schedule a single showing. This is what I was looking for. So I have chosen to schedule a single showing, and it's giving me uh, the times that are available. So today is Wednesday, and it's already you know almost 12, so uh, the times behind us are unavailable. And uh, sometimes you'll click, like right now it's 10.45 a.m. So if I were to click on 12 p.m. and request this time, it gives me the option. It says, I'm requesting an appointment for Wednesday, 12 p.m. What kind of appointment is this? This is going to be a showing. Uh, it gives you these other options, second showing, third showing, virtual showing, agent preview, appraisal, inspection, photography, broker price opinion or walkthrough, this is going to be a showing. Uh, what time will your appointment end? I plan to be there at 12. I think it's going to end by 1230. So I would click on 1230. That gives me 30 minutes there. Now, buyer's name, you can ignore this or you can um, add a buyer to this section here and it'll notify the buyer of your appointment time slot because when you request this appointment okay i've done this part you can put in here a special note if you need a special note uh, the buyer will be in a wheelchair is there wheelchair access or uh, my buyer is deathly afraid of dogs are there any dogs in the property 
you can put in special notes in there when you request a showing. And then once you're done with that, usually you don't put in any notes, you just request a showing. You don't have to add a buyer to it, but you can. Uh, once you're done, you click on this request an appointment button here and uh, the listing agent will get notification saying an agent would like to show your listing at this time on this day. Do you approve or do you decline it? Uh, if they approve it, then you'll get a notification saying your appointment has been approved. Here are the instructions and your seller. If the listing agent has done what I do with my sellers, I've set them up on this system as well. The seller will get a notification saying your, you have a new showing that's been approved for tomorrow at 2 PM. And the showing will have, the seller will have instructions on how to prepare the uh, home for, for showings. Uh, also, the sellers can be given the authority to approve the showing appointments as well. So the listing agent can do it or the seller or anyone that the listing agent submits to the system as authorized can approve those showings. So um, that is how you request an appointment to show a listing. Uh, there, there is another way that you can do it. So I'm going to go back to the MLS right here. Um, before I show you the other way, I just wanted to mention to you that when you click on this showing time icon, uh, you can add, you can either request a single showing, which is what I typically do, or you can add uh, this showing to a showing cart, which means you want to request multiple showings at the same time. Uh, so you can use this button which says add it to a cart and it's going to ask you when is this cart so this cart's going to be Wednesday you can choose a buyer to associate the cart to and then you'll click OK please name your tour I'm just going to say Wednesday tour OK and here you can add multiple homes to your showing cart and pick a time and then uh, it'll at the end of it all, you'll have a route of showings that you have set up for the day. So you can enter those listing IDs in here, the MLS ID with a comma and set them all up. You can put them in here. And so that is a way that you can do it. Uh, you can set up showings for multiple listings at the same time. Uh, I tend to do the one at a time option. That's just what I've always done, but my wife, she uses the showing cart option a lot. Uh, so that's something that I wanted to go over with you. And um, something else I wanted to show you was as realtors, you can have this showing time app. And uh, that is the showing time app. And using this app, you can also request showings. You can search for a listing on here and request a showing uh, right from your phone. So you can do it two different ways from your phone or from a laptop or from any computer. And uh, that is how you request a showing. So hopefully this was helpful. I know it didn't have to be 15 minutes long, but I thought I would add some bonus information. If you ever want to ask me questions about real estate, I've been selling real estate since 2004. I have a team here in Central Florida and uh, I have an organization and an awesome brokerage. If you ever would like information about anything related to home sales or building a team, growing a team, getting started in real estate, uh, I would love to chat with you. You can visit my uh, link tree, which is teambetancourt.com, and you can click on any of the links on there that you like. One of them is to set up an appointment to chat for 15 minutes. Uh, but you can also email me or uh, give me a shout. My phone number is 407-375-9142. Thanks a lot. And that is all for today. Take care.